Yeah. <laughs> and if, I don't know. I liked it. If you could bring somebody back just to be your like undead partner, who would it be? Do you have an idea? Oh, uh, not for my partner. I'd like to bring my dad back. <laughs> 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 but not to fuck him. I don't want to fuck my dad uh, or my brother. But if I had a pick, I'd pr- probably, probably my dad. <laughs> oh, don't. I'm not going to say uh, that. I thought this question was going to be very different. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, like- hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Valentine's Day, a uh, day of love and happiness and horror here at the Horror Bin. Uh, today, we got a, a real good movie, a brand new movie out. Uh, with me to talk about it is partner in crime, fellow fellow dirtbag. It's Kelly McInerney. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me. Of course, yeah. Kelly. Uh, if you if you follow the show, we've had Kelly on before talking about Scream. Classic. Uh, you can always probably always expect Kelly to be here anytime a new movie is coming out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, before we get into it, Kelly, I I I don't know. I don't remember if we talked about it very much. But what's been your experience with horror i love horror movies i mean i have amc a list so i'll go to see all the horror movies (laughs) i want to write my own horror movie one day Uh, i've written i have one if any (laughs) any any, all the producers uh, listening to agents out there (laughs) management no uh uh, but that's my dream i just love horror movies uh they're fun um watch them all the time used to hate used to be scared oh yeah and then i realized they're kind of funny like, yeah. my mom was like, don't watch Scream, Kelly, growing up. And then when I finally watched it, I'm like, this is hilarious. <laughs> what was your first horror movie? Do you remember? Um, like, the first one that you sat down and you're like, I love this. Or, like, you're in, you really, in, you walked out being like, I really enjoyed that. I don't know if it was, like, uh, I don't know. Probably, like, a classic one, like yeah. uh, Fre- Frankenstein or something like that. Because I would watch, like, Bud Abbott and Lou Costello be oh, Frankenstein yeah. with my mom. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, I remember just mostly being scared at first. Like my cousin forced me to watch Chucky. Mm. I don't like him. <laughs> I love Chucky now. I used to hate Chucky. Now I love Chucky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just, mixed on him. He's fine. His shows okay. Yeah, yeah. But speaking of Frankenstein, and if you know me, you know I'm a big Frankenstein head. Got him tattoo. Got him. Who would have thunk? Huh? Who would have thought? Who would have thought me? Who knew? Who knew? And a little little Frankenstein. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but today's episode, we are talking about Lisa Frankenstein, uh, just recently released, just out in theaters right now. Uh, before we get too much into it, let's take a look at the trailer. There's a young man. I talked to him. I wish I was with you. <laughs> That's really weird, Lisa. <laughs> I'm the greatest God created power driven on the mission Music's great. It's a waste of time mm-hmm. to try and fix a Are we allowed to comment? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So <laughs> I was cute. <laughs> just sit here quietly and don't like, say anything. Hmm. I'm just like, okay. I can't do that. Not until we bury the body. (laughs) Probably the best kill in the movie right here. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) She's so good. Really hope this goth phase ends soon. All the good one-liners are in the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Like that goth phase one. <laughs> like. Second second best kill was him dumping that cop into the grave. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that is Lisa Frankenstein, or released in 2024. Directed directorial debut of Zelda Williams, Robin Williams' daughter. Yeah. Uh, another you. movie written by Diablo Cody, Devil Cody, as... Uh, the English say. No, we uh, just say Diablo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you like, <laughs> we, I, okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me check. Oh, 
Yeah, we just say we just say Diablo to Yeah, us. we just say. Oi, and uh, yeah, you get it. This is turning <laughs> into something else today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, written by Diablo Cody, directed by Zelda Williams. Uh, we got in this cast, we got uh, Catherine Newton, Cole Sprouse, and Carla Gugino, probably the top build people we have on yeah. in this movie. Um, and the plot, a misunderstood teenager and a reanimated Victorian corpse embark on a murderous journey together to find love, happiness, and a few missing body parts. Yeah, I mean, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I really enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I uh, we went with a friend who immediately was like, "Do you like it?" <laughs> <laughs> There's no st- what was the plot? And then I just said a longer version of that log line yeah. and she's like, "Yeah, I watched the movie, but what was the plot?" I'm like, "I'm confused." We just, we just told you. <laughs> I like the movie. Yeah. It had a very, I, I remember I said this to you last night, it had a very, like, Heather's, uh, Little Shop of Horrors, mm-hmm. campy. Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands. That very, like, it's very whimsical horror. It's not, like, we're not trying to get scares. We're just trying to show. It's kind of like what the old school, like, horror, universal horror movies used to be. They're not particularly scary, yeah. but they're good stories that tell, that tell like, that the monsters are the victims or the mm. monsters are the and tragic characters in this. If you like Diablo Cody, it's that same vein. It's the same universe of mm. Jennifer's body, same world. Yeah. So that'd be cool if there's a, another The end movie. credit scene when uh, <laughs> when Cole Sprouse and <laughs> May- Megan Fox team up together yeah, to sick. take on Amanda Seyfried, <laughs> to yeah. take on Juno. <laughs> it's all connected. <laughs> Gonna be crazy to find out that Juno is Juno, but it's a guy now. He's a guy. Juno's like a Jun- universal name for everyone. Yeah, Juno. Yeah. Juno works for both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still Juno. Still Juno. Still Juno. That's the sequel. Just a father now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, apparently, a lot there's a lot of people that did that agreed with our friend because Rotten Tomatoes forty nine percent critic score, well, but eighty two percent audience score. Yeah, like tradi- like look up Jennifer's body. How much is that? Jennifer's body. I'm sure it was Similar the same thing. I remember it was like nobody like. I will say though, like, the tra- yeah, the trailer does give you an idea. Like I, I see there is a thing I wish there was diff was different. Mm-hmm. Like the the creation of the monster. I did think that she was she was going to create the monster, yeah. and it wasn't because it ends up being, and we can spoil it. Okay. Here, uh, but it ends up being that she kind of just makes up a, a, a passive wish. Uh, I wish you, I wish I could yeah. be with you, and then green lightning strikes, and Cole Sprouse comes from the grave. Yeah, he's just missing some parts. Missing some, and parts. the more he uh, becomes, he's it's like Imhotep in a way. Yeah, uh, instead of killing people that take his little plate plates, he needs to kill people to get their parts. parts. Yeah, and it was interesting. I started thinking more of this because they take so Carla Gugino plays the stepmom in this. Um, Great, you know, oh, looks Car- the same. Looks Can, amazing. Will never age. Looks fantastic. Carly Gugino, you win our award here today. Is it because you're always playing a cunt just to keep? No, she's she nice plays it cunt. well. She's, she's the she mom play, in Spike. She it. plays. She plays. She plays a cunty character pretty well, and you're like, yeah. I'll put up with it. I'll yeah. put up with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that body married to. I think we we figured this out. Uh, the dad from Stranger Things playing, playing the, the dad role. from Stranger Things. <laughs> Good for him to make a he, like. A lot of people don't like being typecast, and he's like, "Nope, I'm. I get to not memorize lines and read a newspaper just, yeah. for this uh, movie <laughs> that my kids are gonna watch me in." Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Just trying to see him. Joe Crest plays Dale. I don't know any of these other. And people. yeah, plays Ted Wheeler plays the dad from Stranger Things. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, we. Uh, but yeah, Jennifer's well, body he looks very different. Jennifer's body had very uh, a bit it? more hate. She had forty. They, she they uh, Jennifer's body had a forty six percent from critics, thirty five percent from audiences. Interesting. Which I think I think that's just to show that like this. This is likability too. It has. It Catherine has, Newton is far more likable than Megan Fox. Mm-hmm. Let's put that out there. Also, this is this even, is also peak Megan Fox. Yeah, yeah. At the at her at her. At and her, this is also years and years. So you know the nerds what came out that hate. This and is just that, like man. It has you know? the it has the making for like this is a cult. This is a cult movie. Yeah. One negative I didn't like about mm-hmm. it is uh, 
all the heavy makeup, uh, which was great. But one time she went to bed and I'm like, you're not going to wash your face, mm. Lisa. Come on. You're just yeah. sleeping with a corpse. He doesn't give a fuck what you look like. Fuck. Corpse don't give a fuck. He's, corpse like a his, honey badger. Yeah. His tears smell awful. <laughs> so like, hey, I'm sure he doesn't care if you look a little I, bit sleepy. I started really thinking about this. So the, uh, the fact that they take Carla Gugino's ear, the stepmom's ear, they take the the guy who was being handsy with Lisa. They take his hand. Shorty. Shorty. Yeah. I'm calling him. And then uh, they take, what's his face? Michael? Hottie. Hottie's, Hottie's cock. Art Hottie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Michael Tate or whatever. Michael Tate. Michael Taint. Um, Taint. I don't know. <laughs> but I, 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 I stand by. Best kill in the movie. Uh, or funniest. Just like so just like. Comes in out of nowhere and just like mm, mm, chop up you your dick. predicted that he was I missing a penis. How did that happen? What I, this what? is oh this is yeah this is perfect because this is yeah. also segues into to what I'm thinking okay. is she so it, it's definitely like this idea of like she's looking to be with this one guy mm-hmm. who's really not get willing to give her the time of day. When she has this other guy who is willing to give her the time of day, other guy, this corpse that's willing to give her the time of day, willing to be with her, wanting to love her, but she's just not willing to see it. But he's willing to be be the ear to hear her out mm-hmm. from Carla Gugino. He's willing to be a gentle hand uh, towards her. And then he wants to give her, uh, uh, Whoa. Give her, her, her his love physically. Yeah. Very clever. Yes. I think I think that's that's what it, that's how what I was kind of gathering. No, that makes sense. And it just made the more when she started saying like, "Oh, I don't want to die a virgin. Uh, I want to get the, get with this guy." Blah 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 blah. And then yeah, and then once all that stuff started happening, she shows up at the the guy's place and she's mm-hmm. walking up. I'm like, okay, he's already sleeping with somebody. I bet you it's a sister. Yeah. Once we saw the car of the sister, we're like, oh, they're porking. Yeah. You know. Oh, they they porking. Uh, it's an '80s movie. I feel sis- like I gotta say porking. <laughs> They haven't gotten to fucking yet. Yeah. They're just porking. Uh, if we were a bit further back in time, they'd be heavy petting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, like I mean, I, it uh, kind of like things just kind of seemed to fall into place, and mm-hmm. once you started hearing hearing certain things, um, and Cole Sprouse, I think played played the monster really well. Great. Apparently, he went to like mime school for it for a few months. It shows. Yeah. He was. He's great. I love that. I love that kid. He also, fun fact, not the first time playing a Frankenstein. You know that? Really? He the uh his character in Big Daddy called himself Frankenstein. Oh, that's right. I don't know. He's still great. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I love I love Cole Sprouse, hottie for sure. But mm. is his best role still Frankenstein in Big Daddy? To me, I think so. Frankenstein. I wipe my own ass. <laughs> I wipe my own ass. It's such a tear jerking moment it's too. So good. <laughs> uh, in terms of like actually connecting to any kind of Frankenstein, other than the fact that it is a, a reanimated corpse and having to use electricity to bring certain body parts to life, mm. I was thinking that like apparently her character's name is Lisa Swallows, right? Um, which I I felt like they probably could have done more jokes around that. If they're going to do that. I know with the Swallow's name. Yeah. Yeah, because they did with Taffy. Laffy Taffy was her uh, uh, bumper uh, license plate, Laffy oh, yeah, T. Yeah. And then she mentioned her, like, that's her sister, stepsister, mm-hmm. who I I did like the uh, the relationships in this movie. Like, I like the weird um, family. Like, yeah. it's not the uh, traditional uh, family stepmother kind of deal uh but the sep sister who's a popular girl still like wanted to help her out yeah and i thought that was so cute She's the only one only one really treating her nicely treating her well and everything yeah yeah and there was like a certain moments where i was just like i'm kind of like Ugh, this sister is like getting on my nerves but yeah i agree like, i as, liked her though yeah she meant well you uh, know? yeah as it kind of kept on going i'm like okay they they she does genuinely like her she's mm-hmm. not like just being like this airhead of like, I am perfect. What are you talking about? Sad stuff. There is yeah. no such thing. Her friends suck though. Oh yeah, her friends suck. Drive her home. <laughs> mm. She's not that weird. I can just walk. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
It was like, God, you guys so go, mean. fuck you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and then I did find this one, this one review that I, the negative review that I kind of, I kind of uh, a single joke skit that's too self aware to be distinctively funny, freaky, or thrilling. Hmm. I don't think that. I don't think it's a single joke skit. I it's, laughed a lot. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Any <laughs> 80s movie, that's already a joke in itself. Yeah. Kind of do, that to, like, not to say that it's like a funny, but it was like a light, fun, big hair, mm-hmm. big makeup. Like you got to lean into big the campiness. Big hair, big personality, big kills. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, like the creature, creature design wise, uh, I, I really liked how Cole Sprouse looked. I liked how he moved. I liked how he acted. I like the evolution too. Yeah, and that he just got a little less decrepit, a little less undead like every time they used the the tanning bed. I'm curious though why he couldn't like it, he couldn't talk until the dick got on or what? Like is no, I think. think- or you think he is, was also missing a tongue, and we missed that part? I don't think he was missing a tongue. I think it was just one of those things. Because, I mean, it happens in the span of, I'd say, what, a week? Yeah. All this? So I'd say, you know, for, like, the original book, like, it, it takes the monster, like, a couple of years to, like, develop how to speak and everything. He does, like, learn uh, fairly quickly, but it still takes him, like, a while to oh, figure okay. out how to talk again and how to speak eloquently and... And mm-hmm. this and that. So I feel like it's probably the same same here. And plus, I mean, like, I kind of didn't want him to talk until, at, like, where he does finally start speaking and he's reading to Catherine Newton's uh, character. Um, I feel like that was a good, no, I good agree. button to end on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was, like, I liked it, too, because when he was promoting the movie, I believe he told Pete, like, on Jimmy Fallon, he's like, yeah, my brother likes it. I don't have a word in this movie. Like... <laughs> He w- would say, like, giving all his fangirls a heads up. Hey, <laughs> I, I ain't talking. You can look, <laughs> but I'm not saying anything. <laughs> but again, he plays it so well. He plays he's, the way he communicates, how he how he's talking, or yeah, yeah how he's communicating and everything. I thought it was what very well done. If he did go to to mime school, he did. If he did all that, mm-hmm. bravo! Like it shows. It's very very well done. Uh, oh, a fun fact, another fun fact yeah. about this movie. It came out on Catherine Newton's birthday on Friday. It was her birthday. That's true. Happy birthday, Kath- Catherine Newton. Uh, and she's 27 now. I looked that up. And oh. Cole Sprouse is 31 because I was like, how he old is, is he? He and I are the same age. Uh, he, he, I, and his brother. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Twins Wait, can do that. how did you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a twin. <laughs> He's a twin. How did you know what you were <laughs> How did you know the brothers are the same yeah. age? Well, twins often are the same age. Is that how that works? <laughs> okay. Every now and then you get one of those twins is like five year difference, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, yeah, oh yeah, uh, Catherine Newton and Blockers. I'm just pulling up her mm-hmm. her IMDb. She looks great in this movie, by the way. Very fun. Yeah. Like, she she's, usually has blonde hair. That's why you're probably like, hmm, what is this like? Who is she from? Yeah. She, she, I love the big hair. I mean, I'm fucking, I'm doing it right now. Hi. Hey. Uh-huh. Uh, not specifically for this movie, but uh, why not? Um, yeah, she's got the great hair. She, the outfits are on point. They uh, make fun of the outfits, too. She's like, she borrows from her stepsisters. Like, that was my Halloween costume last year. And she's like, can I borrow it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> your tits look great. Like it, the, it's. I like the um, friendship with her and her sister a lot. Yeah, I was. Did you ever get a, like a, a an inkling of like, oh, she might she might kill her sister, or she might have uh, the monster kill? Her? No, because I think they were too close, and I was worried about. This was my theory. I thought the sister was gonna find out that the monster killed. Uh, the mom because he was wearing the stud the whole time and she even oh, said yeah. that she's gonna say give me her my her studs when she dies or something or she said she's gonna um 
when she was talking to somebody like what she oh the cops on the phone uh-huh. all the very specific stuff that was a great joke too oh yeah she, yeah, she is a bitch yeah, yeah. like <laughs> oh she has the kind of milky uh green eyes but she wears contacts to make them look hazel she does this she does that uh yeah yeah she's a bitch <laughs> but oh she has uh, silver studs that she's gonna gift to me when she moves mm. like passes on I think she says okay. something like that and I was like oh she's gonna see this stud in his ear I I did think though like especially when when the reveal happens that she's uh, hooking up with the guy that that uh, Lisa's really into mm-hmm. I did think it was gonna be like this this weird turn where the sister we start seeing a little, like a lot like immediately we're gonna see like oh the sil- sister is actually really selfish and oh, doesn't yeah. give a shit about Lisa. Um, but no, uh, the monster just traumatizes her and, <laughs> and take, steals a dick. And like, she just didn't. So she, the, the thing was, she was, the sister was hooking up with, uh, Lisa's crush. Mm-hmm. And when Lisa mentioned that she had a crush on this guy, the sister was like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Like, hey. Playing kind of dumb. Tell, yeah. Don't, don't play that dumb when you're straight up yeah. inside him during lunch period, every what, like whatever, you know, yeah. like don't do that. Cause then that was more of a shock to Lisa and you're lucky that you lived because mm-hmm. she could have went crazy, but she is crazy in a different way. In a, uh, I want to crazy in love. Yeah. In love with this yeah. dead man way. Yeah. Not until the end, though, which is which is kind of bummed me out. Like the entire time I'm watching, I'm just like, he's right there. Love him, Lisa. Love him. It makes sense. So he's a dead person that smells really bad. You know, yeah, like, only when he cries. I don't know. You never. It might still oh, not yeah. be the most Some perfect smelling. Come. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, like overall, like rating wise, where, where where are you put in this in terms of the scary rating in terms of movie rating? Where would you put out of ten? See, I don't think it was that scary. I, def- I agree. It was way funnier. I'd put it at a one for my scary my scary rating. Yeah. In terms of it just being just general, like if you're going in not knowing anything, there's some moments that might make you feel like kind of like ooh, but then immediately you're like okay, all right. Yeah, I'll give it. I'll give it a one, too, because I can't even remember yeah. anything that really was like, oh, this would be creepy. Because it wasn't even that gross, really. Even no, the, really. the dick cutting off, you don't see the it dick. Was what, it was PG-13? Is it PG-13? That makes right, sense. Right now. I'll, t- I'll tell you right now. But um, as soon as I definitely more it, creepy. I more. Yeah, PG-13. Okay, that's why. Yeah. Hmm. I hope okay. I hope the thirteen year olds of this time like this type of movie. Yeah, and especially look at this poster too. Very cute. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, like I said, it's giving, it's, it's giving, giving Heather's, it's giving Death Becomes Her. Mm-hmm. I love it. I like the play on Lisa Frank, and the pink colors. I like that it was a tanning bed, and you pointed out the sticker was the something of life on the tanning bed. Oh yeah, spark of life. that spark of life. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> I said it. Uh, but yeah, like the the lighting, everything, the way it's shot, the acting. I love Catherine Newton in this. Like, just very quirky, or all that. I would give it in terms of a movie rating. I'm giving it like at least an eight point five. How much out of ten? You said out of ten. Hmm. I'm gonna give it. I don't know. I, like, I'm teeter at six and a half, seven, I'd okay. say. I'd That's say. fair. And then overall, in terms of where it belongs on the bin, uh, this is definitely not a bottom of the barrel. I don't think it's an easy pick on the top. I think this is one of those hidden treasures. you got to dig around and find it. Mm-hmm. It's a good palate cleanser for a horror movie night. Yeah. It's yes. great movie for Valentine's Day. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, it's something for your friends that, don't like horror movies but want to try yeah you know they don't like the vibe but they dig the aesthetic yes yeah yes. it's creepy and cute put that on a shirt me. <laughs> i should do that <laughs> you should <laughs> i should do that <laughs> you got a blank shirt right there you got a blank shirt right here just print it print it all oh, 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 there we go uh but yeah i would say i'd say somewhere like probably the top part of the of the middle of the bin is where this belongs what good so it's just like a bin of movies. So yeah, so it's like a bin. Yeah, that's the premise of the show. Uh, yeah, I think <laughs> I think it's yeah. Yeah, it, like top would be like the easy pick and scream was like an easy choice. Like you don't oh, have yeah. to think about it. You see it, you grab it. 
you take that in this with you. This is like if you're hankering for a different a mm-hmm. twist. You know, not the... You don't want to be scared. You want to feel good. You want to feel good, but like... You want a sprinkling of fun in your horror. Yeah. 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 Like good. I like what you said about palate cleanser. This is like the in-between some heavy shit. Yeah. But you still want to... It's like still Halloween, and you're like, oh, I got to... Yeah. I got to be festive. So. I, don't, I don't feel like watching the OG Frankenstein. Let me watch this new take. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And again, if you're coupled up, you got a, you got a horror date night. The perfect choice. Great uh, Halloween costumes ideas coming. Yeah, couples, mm-hmm. get on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that that is Lisa Frankenstein. Great. I it thir- I think thoroughly belongs in the bin. Great movie. Highly Keep recommend it. it. Watch it for Valentine's Day, Kelly. Thank you for, so much for watching with me. Thanks for having me. It was so of fun. Of course, anytime. Yeah. Uh, but you got your camera here. You got a camera there. Let the people know where they can find you, what you got going on. Hey, I'm Kelly McInerney. You could find me on social media at Kelly McInerney. Uh, also, a uh, comedy bingo show in Los Angeles if you're ever around. Uh, do stand-up comedy. You know, just follow me and you'll find out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Make sure to check out Kelly. <laughs> check out Comedy Bingo if you're in L.A. Uh, you guys can find me on all the things at Julian F. Comedy. Uh, you can also follow this podcast at Horror Bin Pod on Instagram, TikTok. we got to get videos up on there. But you can follow us on there. Horror Bin Podcast on YouTube. Uh, let us know in the comments what you thought of the movie. Let us know what a- any other movies you think we should cover and add to the bin. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, follow, do all the things. Let's build this horror community. Bring let's your raise exes it from, back from the dead and make them watch it. Yeah. And listen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again, Kelly, thank you so much for being on. Uh, thank you guys for watching and listening. And uh, like we say on every episode, it's alive. That was a terrible uh, one. I got to think of a better it's one. It's alive. It's alive. She never says, I really wanted her to say it at some point in the I movie. I know, yeah. I wish there were more Frankenstein things. Yeah. Other than the name, which I mean, nobody else has the Frankenstein name yeah. in the movie. But, but it's, it's alive. So <laughs> Bye. Bye.